This presentation is going to show you how to enable the WebGate feature in Visual Designer projects. To use the WebGate feature in a Visual Designer project, a secondary drive is required in the HMI. This can be a USB stick or an SD card, depending on what your device supports. This presentation is going to show you how to use the WebGate feature with Microsoft Edge browser. So to begin with, let's open the Visual Designer project. So we have here a Visual Designer project that was created in Machine Expert, which is used to control some various pieces of equipment. For this demonstration, we're going to enable the functionality of the WebGate for just one of the panels. You can choose in your project which panels you want to share. For this presentation, I'm just going to use one of the panels and it will be this panel here where I'm setting a frequency. So to begin, navigate to the HMI settings tab and then go to remote access, enable data sharing, Enable web server, enable WebGate. You can choose which panels you want to share in the WebGate feature from this screen. Some of these settings are also available in, uh, an in another setting, which we'll see in a moment. From this screen here, you can choose which panels you want to share. Those same settings are also visible here in the Publish tab. So here I'm going to choose to share all. I don't have any pop-up panels, but I'm going to choose to share all. And I'm going to share all actions. Now I simply build this. Now I need to choose which variables I'm going to share with the WebGate feature so that I can actually access the variables and change them through the WebGate feature. So in this presentation, I wanted to make uh, the variable for setting the frequency accessible. So there's the variable. When you've enabled the WebGate feature, the variable that you, the variables that you want to share, will be available in the sharing section. So the variable I want to share, I'm going to share that, and I'm going to choose whether I want it to be read only or read and write. For this presentation, I'm going to have it read and write. again. Next, navigate to the options. And this is where it's important for the data locations to understand that for the HMI WebGate feature to function, have to be using a secondary drive 
the web server cannot be stored on the main drive. You have to have a USB or SD card inserted in your HMI to support the web server function. And that's because when you enable this function and you download it to the HMI, there's not enough memory location in the HMI to support the web server function. So you need to make sure for the web server function that that's selected for optional drive. You can also use that optional drive for these other items, but for this demonstration we're just going to use the optional drive for the web server because it's mandatory. Build again. function has now been enabled in the HMI project so I can download this to the HMI and the project in the HMI is now prepared to share with the web browser so I'm going to do that now logging into my PLC going to choose to download only to the HMI because that's uh, that's the section of the project that I want to uh, update. I've changed nothing in the PLC logic. I'm only going to change the, the code that's in the HMI. So I'm going to choose multiple download and I'm going to select to only download to the HMI. So I'm checking this button here. Make sure this radio button is checked always perform full download and download So the download to the HMI has finished and incidentally I, I neglected to indicate that when the project is built and you're ready to download it make sure you insert the SD card or the USB device depending on what your HMI supports. Make sure that that's in the HMI before you perform the download uh, and the reason being is because the web server files to support functionality of the web gate will get stored on the USB or SD card and just to show you what type of files we're talking about here's the folder that was created when I downloaded to the HMI and within this folder there are many files and the total file size of this folder and mind you my application is a very small application size on disk is almost 10 megabyte so this is the reason you have to use a a secondary drive SD card or USB to support the webgate function so the files are on the USB stick which I'm going to put back into the HMI so we can move on to the next step So here at the next step we've opened up our Edge web browser and I'm going to put in the IP address of the HMI and hit enter and we get to this Visual Designer landing page. I'm going to select English and then I'm going to click on monitoring and it's in the monitoring section where you would find the web gate now before this will actually function there's some additional settings you have to make in the web browser if you don't make those settings 
it won't work. So we're going to click, uh, click on in frame here. And the only message I get is I need to install the Visio WebGate ActiveX control. The file necessary to add this function is nested in the USB stick that's in the HMI. So I simply click on this. This brings me to this page. And right here is a link where clicking on this will go and retrieve the file that's needed for the WebGate function to work in the browser. So I've clicked on that. And it opened up this downloads window over here. And the file has been downloaded. I'm going to open the file and install it. process is finished. Now what got added there is if we go to my add remove programs and we look at the list of apps and features that's installed in my Windows environment this this is what just was installed the Visio WebGate control there's the current date and that's when I just installed it So the next step for this functionality to work is we need to enable the web browser to support that functionality and give it permission. The next step is in your Edge web browser, in the top right corner here, open up the settings. In the settings, you need to go to the default browser section in the allow sites to be re reloaded in Internet Explorer mode you need to make this allowed so allow and then click restart the browser will close and reopen we need to add permission for the page that wants to load from the HMI. So in this section here, we need to choose Add. And we need to add I'm going to add the IP address of my HMI. because that was the feature in the Visual Designer project when we were in the remote access that's the port right here that the web browser will use to communicate with the HMI web gate Now, if I close my web browser and relaunch it, and I go to my HMI, we've got a little icon here, monitoring, in frame, and here comes the HMI. It's loading the runtime just the same way that would uh, that it loads when the HMI starts and now I have access to the screens that are in the HMI keeping in mind that the only variable that I gave permission to when I was modifying my HMI project 
was on the frequency generator. And it was this set frequency parameter that I gave access to by sharing it. So I can actually click on this. And I have that uh, connected to a buzzer, so it's probably gonna, you're probably going to hear it when I click enter. So that's how you enable the WebGate feature for use in the Microsoft Edge browser from a Visio Designer project using the WebGate feature. Thanks for watching.